गाइस ऑफिशियल आने जो है 13.1 इज नाउ रोलिंग आउट फॉर दैट मी नोट 9s Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9 Pro Max एंड Poco M2 Pro व्हिच मींस मी एचएल डिवाइसेस इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड नाउ इट्स ऑफिशियली अवेलेबल ऑल द अनऑफिशियल बिल्ड्स वर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट बट नाउ वी हैव द ऑफिशियल बिल्ड एंड दिस इज अ बिल्ड व्हिच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइन जो इज वर्जन 18.1 नाइटली मी अ टोल एंड यस इट हैज अ लेटेस्ट सितंबर सिक्योरिटी पैच अवेलेबल फॉर यू If you want to give it a try, I'm going to share with you my experiences after installing this thing. Some things were not good. Some thing is actually quite good. It has a lineage of kernel included, which is actually quite interesting one. If you want to give it a try, I'm going to share with you some things about this in this video about this about this room. So let's get started quickly. Okay, let's just start, start about let's just start with the default launcher here first of all we have the trebuchet launcher pre-installed as expectedly launcher launcher lineage of custom always comes with the trebuchet launcher the trebuchet launcher has some bit of extra options available for you it has the icon break support and it also has the hidden and protected apps feature which means you'll be able to use the app locker unfortunately app locker is not present in the settings which we're going to talk about later on in this video so stay tuned for this but icon break support is present here which is something quite interesting one Also, if you're looking for the L1 support, as if your device has L1 support available or not, the best thing is L1 is supported. By the way, for your kind information, I haven't installed firmware L1 is there, which means actually something quite good. You can use, you can stream Netflix and Amazon Prime in HD, and in the terms of magic and safety net status. And here comes the issue: safety net status, unfortunately, is not passing for me. Let me show you by going into check safety net status. As you can see, attestation failed. Maybe you need to apply the universal safety net fix. Right now, I haven't tried out that, but yes, it's there. It's not passing out, so yes, you need to keep this in your mind if you are, if you're looking to install this thing, and if you always use banking apps on a device, safety net status should be passed, and it's not passing by default. The good thing is, if modules does not have any kind of issues, I'm using some modules here, like the fonts and MIUI Core and MIUI Gallery. Yes, you can use MIUI Gallery in custom rooms, and if you don't know how you can install that, I made a specific video on that. That how you can install MIUI Gallery in other AOSP based custom rooms. It's working perfectly fine, including that in settings. As this is Lineage, this is kind of a stock custom room, which means you will not be able to use any major customizations. Some features are already present, some features are not there. For example, you can see fingerprint is present, but there is no face unlock, there is no app lock. App lock you can use from the Trebuchet launcher, which is already included. But in the terms of face unlock, it's not there. Yes, face unlock is not there still, but yes, fingerprint is there. So this was the major thing you get here. Some major drawbacks were you can see no face unlock and including that safety status has issues. But accepting that you don't have any kind of major issues. It has this trust option which means a privacy related things to help you to keep your device secure and protect your privacy. You can see the encryption is enabled and Linux is enforcing. Also, I have installed it from Orange Fox Custom Recovery and I got some encryption issues. So if you want to try it from the Lineage OS Recovery, you can. Uh, it's just up to you. But I have tried Orange Fox Custom Recovery. In the terms of other options, sound at sector does not have any kind of major changes. You can see every option is same like the other custom room. But yes, you have the option of choosing the styles and wallpapers in display. So you can customize the colors at sector. Live display option is also present if you want to customize the colors of your device. Everything else is same. These were things I just wanted to let you know about this build, which is the Lineage's official version. Of this, the thing is the best thing is this is official one, so most of the users were looking for it. It's finally there. Status bar has some extra bit of customizations available for you, which you can give it a try. Brightness, light, and red customizations, etc., etc. Now moving on to the installation steps, that how you can install it. I tried Orange Fox Custom Recovery honestly, and I didn't got any kind of major issues. But only one thing which I got here is this encryption. Encryption has issues, which means my device storage is not showing in internal. My device storage is not showing in this Custom Recovery after installing this custom room. So yes, this might be the issue, but I'm not sure about that because I'm using using Orange Fox Custom Recovery. But you can give it a try with the Lineage OS Recovery, which is already present, and link for that one is also in the description. This is the file which you need. You simply need to click on Swipe to install, wipe the usual stuffs, and simply format data. You're good to go. And this is the recovery which I was talking about. You can install if you want to. It's just up to you. This is all for this short and simple video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. Goodbye. See you in the next video. Over the edge.
touch Feel like I'm floating through the air 